hello aries welcome back to my channel let's pull quickly a card from january 17 until 23rd of this week and see what you know the energies has for you collectively um so without any wait let's let's dive in aries aries collective reading so let's have a look what the spirit animal card has for you we have a turtle it's a water water energy so some of you are probably feeling very strongly venus near retrograde i would say and mercury retrograde which really slows down you your actions your fire in you um turtle for me really represents about slow down it's like a message for you that you need to rest maybe you have been really really working very hard regards you know certain your um you know uh goals um you know things that you really wanted to close before the year and now the new year started and you are kind of you know wanting to go wanting to rush you have all this power motivation but something is just stopping you and what is stopping you is really that energy that we have. We have the North Node moving into a Taurus sign as of tomorrow. We have also um, South Node changing the signs from Sagittarius moving into Scorpio. And that could be the watery, the watery, you know, energy that will be affecting you. Um, also, as of Taurus, um, we have a, a Uranus moving, uh, as I, I believe, as, a, as of today. It really depends where in the world you are. Um, but moving into the Taurus, which means that the, the, the Earth very heavily kind of browns you. It really tries to slow you down and think about your values, about about what is really important for you if you are compromising with your health due of the fact that you want to achieve a certain goal or that you felt the pressure from other people please ignore and really look out to yourself your health is more important than anything else in the world so that is the energy for you my dear um Aries, uh, let's see what else we can get. I will pull, I feel, a three cards for you from the beautiful, the light seer tarot uh, deck. And uh, let's have a look what, what we have here for you. We have in your past, Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords is a really very much imprison, imprisoning yourself um in the pain but it's like the last the last step that will actually release you you see how this lady surrounded by the crows um she's looking you know on the hill looking into her horizons she's setting herself free from this pain from you know everything what she believed hope you know all these denials all the failures it's behind her all this pain is behind her so you have left something um so if we are talking you know moving and transitioning now into these new energies i think you left someone or something behind and you said you know this is the new new year i am very aware i need a new life i need to transform i need to change and this is what i am doing and your present moment is the ace of pentacles this is the seed that you want to plant this is what you want you know to to put your focus and like i say it feels very slow it feels that really look how this pattern is similar the turtle pattern and this pentacle i mean it's 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 very very magical very hypnotizing and i feel that it is a very strong message for you aries that the things will take time the things will grow you see that this ace of pentacle is very fragile it has few roots but it really has not even been grounded yet it's still like an idea it's still like in your hands it's like a like a fresh seed like a fresh idea fresh baby it's something that you are um collating in in your head maybe you know you want you know to to plan this but still 
feel there are certain you know things that you need to do before you're actually going to put the seed in the ground so a very interesting energy and the future the future is the temperance you will need you know to find that fine balance like i say you know the divine energy is with you we have like an angel obviously the temperance is a major arcana card something it is meant to happen in your life there is a destiny related because the temperance really for me speaks about divine guidance um divine really um calling and maybe you have felt for some time that you need you know to to move somewhere else you know to to do something and especially when we have such a big astrological alignments in the sky we do feel that something is changing we just can't obviously see it we just feel it and you know for you as a fire sign for you it's the fire burns even you know uh, stronger but you just don't know where to use this energy and the the temperance is slowing you down as i said as well you know because of these transitions that we have and mercury is retrograde uh, venus is retrograde so it's really asking you to um stop rest relax Think about, you know, your idea. Think about that pentacle that you are planting and where you are heading um, next, my dear Aries. Um, let's let's pull a couple more clarifiers on these cards and let's see what else we can get for you, my dear Aries. Um, okay, so. So we have the tower. Again, this has clarified um the ten ten of swords you know this past or something where you had you know to move away and something that has been obviously taken shaken shaken the ground taken away from you um you know completely shook off you by surprise completely um shook your ground your life you know there is a basically we are talking about a very cardinal energy that required you to do some transformation and the transformation that we are seeing currently it's those energies that's pushing us you know to a new future but as we are having these major planet in retrograde mode we still are a bit stuck we are still slow we have obstacles we we can't go in the full gear let's put it this way and that's how you're feeling i feel yeah king of wands again resonates with your energy it's a very much your card it's a very much you know this power this ambition that you have you're facing as well look this this king is looking to this tower with a full confidence like consciously made the decision i need the change and i'm going you know to make this change because i have this fire in me i know that the risk that i'm going to take it will pay off i i know because you know i'm the king of wands um and you know that there will be on your road you know some some obstacles that you need to um overcome but you know you are okay with that um and as i say five of wands it's a very much um an obstacles that you are facing and obstacles because there is a competition there is other people in the scene who maybe want the same thing um maybe you are competing you know uh with yourself first of all because when i have you know this um temperance cards um and clarified by five of wands i feel that you are creating yourself um a competition with yourself first of all you you don't want to rest you don't want you know to relax you want to go 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 and get the results um because this is the fire but the temperance card is really going to ground you and it will say stop if you will force and push things further you know i will give you something that will really put you on the backbone and uh, and you will sit you know for a time you know much longer so just you know rest and when i say you know that the universe does these tricks it's a very much that the universe will create a situation that will prolong then your rest if you are not resting now if you are battling because mentally you just can't switch off and you want you know to go and do things then better do something for yourself for your well-being for your spiritual 
um, healing, healing the wounds. Don't try to put yourself in the work um, in order to forget the past. No, you were very, very aware that you need to transform and change your life. So now it's the time to heal. Now it's the time to, to rest. So don't try, you know, to to prove to others anything else um you know you, you are a human being and like everyone else needs the time time for yourself so you know everything else can wait aries whatever that it would be uh, let's have a look what else uh the shadow of the past i feel aries that you are going to deal with this recent past events, this 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 thing that you kind of turn your back, you know, the, the thing that you have said goodbye, they will come back, they will try to connect with you. And I think there is a triangle. I don't know, I feel that this this sort of you know card shows a man and two women. Of course it could be you know any gender, but I feel it's a triangle. I think it is I think you know someone's heart has been broken i feel that it has been a lot of pain and suffering but this situation has not been fully resolved and it will need you know to be back because i said venus retrograde mercury retrograde this is just the perfect combination for things to come to become you know uh to be brought back into the present moment in order that you could heal yourself you could you know um put that final dot um, on everything and really you know with a very peaceful mind and you know peaceful heart to say goodbye to things that are no longer serving you um, and the dreaming the universe is asking you no matter of the fact that you have been you know obviously burnt and hurt dream big be ambitious as much as you can because this year is a really magical year we have a, such an amazing energy jupiter is in pisces it's piscean energy is all about you know diving deep into the dream world you know wishes dream big um expand i don't know obviously um individual bird charts as of who you are uh, who are at the moment listening but check where is your jupiter and and you know um in pisces with a degree which house how it's impa impacting you know your day-to-day -day life because the dreaming card is really saying that that area of your life will grow. The house, the particular, it could be money, it could be career, it could be friendship, it could be spiritual. I don't know really where, how you know your personal birth chart looks like, but if you are interested, do you know this astrology, um, you know, by astrology reading, you know, check really where where you know these planets are and and you know where the, the the expansion and growth will be coming into your life as of 2022 Aries and we have the magician and the magician as you see has a ball in hands cards are you know flipping around there is unicorn there is as well um a stick that he is holding um some very uh, great, you know, creatures, uh, fairies around. And I feel that, you know, to dream big is fine, but don't, you know, uh, uh, lose your obviously reality and insights, you know, be realistic that you wouldn't be um, trickstered, you know, by someone because you believe you know your dream is so big i heard you know the message you know i need you know to believe someone will say oh you know the beautiful future is coming trust me invest you know your money um be very careful with that of course you know when i say dream big i mean really listen you know um your instinct when when you want you know let's say a car you say i want the car and why i say you know about this material thing normally i would you know refer to more spiritual things um to focus and and, and grow but this year we have the north node in taurus and it will be all about that simple sort of 3d material material you know uh focus you know you want you don't want and it will be push and pull because scorpio we are talking about that and transformation the value sets that you have so whatever you know the dream you have 
you need to be realistic but at the same time dare to be bold and you know dream big um controversial energies but i hope you understood you know the meaning itself i'm sure you know that those who are listening have heard astrology and other you know tarot readers i hope you enjoyed um aries uh, your reading it's amazing energy you are upon something very beautiful there's a lot of growth um don't be afraid to heal the past and uh, i hope you yeah as i said I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you next week. Take care.